How can you make sure that your house passes to the person that you want after you die? There are actually many options, and which option you choose depends on a lot of factors. You need to look at all the tax consequences, and there's different kinds of tax. There's property tax, income tax, and um, estate tax to consider. There's also the consideration of your family relationships and your total financial picture. And so you need to look at many options and so no one should be able to just tell you which one's best for you if they don't know your whole situation. Everyone needs a will. I've said that before. Even if you have a living trust, you still need a will. And your will can cover your house along with all your other property, but that's not your only option. Some people have living trusts, particularly if they have a very large estate and they need to avoid estate tax. And you can pass your house in your living trust, but some people who have living trusts choose to put other property in there and not their house. And there could be a number of reasons that they do that. The, the residence that they live in, they may, may want it to pass differently from the rest of their living trust, or they may have um, used it as collateral for a loan or there may be property tax considerations or some other reason that they don't want that house in their living trust. Another option is to pass it with a right of survivorship document if you are passing it to your spouse. It won't help when the second spouse dies passing it on to someone other than your spouse, but just between the two spouses, you can sign a right of survivorship document and file that in the county deed records. And another way is there are a couple of different options for deeds. Now the difference between a deed and a trust and a will is it's really easy to amend a trust or to change a will. It's not so easy to change a deed. Once you've deeded property to someone, it belongs to them, and the only way you can get it back is you have to get them to deed it back to you. And sometimes people have deeded property to their adult children, and then they find out that their adult children child has a judgment against them or a um, they're filing for bankruptcy, and they're gonna lose the house. And that's not what you intended at all, and you can't get it back because they have to voluntarily deed it back to you. And if it's within a short time before bankruptcy, the bankruptcy court won't let them do it. So there is a risk involved. You can do a deed that's outright leaving the house to your child right now, and they can continue to let you live there. But if you are over the age of 65 and you're using a homestead exemption and an over 65 exemption to lower your property taxes, deeding that to your, your children now may significantly raise the property tax on that house because you don't own it anymore. And there is a right of survivorship deed, sometimes called a ladybird deed. And there is also now a deed that is in the statute for passing a house upon death. Those deeds say that you own the house as long as you live, but as soon as you die, it passes to whoever you've named. Some of those are revocable. Some of them are not revocable. You need to consider the consequences of that as well, if that is what you're considering. And again, remember, once you have signed that, you may have gift tax consequences um, as well as inheritance tax consequences. So all of those things need to be considered before you make a decision on how you want to pass the house. I do. I did. I'm done. Come see me. <laughs>